A news reporter, Adam Schrager, puts the Decision 2010 ad to the truth test. The 30-second commercial is Ken Buck's first of the general election campaign. He's spending roughly $65,000 to run it 101 times on the networks of Nine News. It directly takes on his opponent in the race, Senator Michael Bennett. Michael Bennett's votes are so bad he can't defend them. So he's attacking me with false and unfair ads. There are two claims here that merit some analysis. Despite what Buck says, Bennett does defend his votes for the stimulus, health care, and to give federal workers, but not members of Congress, a roughly 1.5% pay raise next year. But Buck says Bennett voted to raise taxes 24 times. That's not true. Bennett voted against tax cuts in those cases, but that's not the same thing. Since Bennett came into office, he has not voted on a measure that raised tax rates. Now, as to whether Bennett's attacks on Buck have been false and unfair, well, Nine News has labeled some of the points in Bennett's ads to be false, but we've also said some some are true. What's unfair to Colorado is Bennett's record of overspending, overregulating, and overtaxing. This is an opinion. Buck claims Bennett's votes for the stimulus and other projects have ramped up the federal debt to $13 trillion, and he'll say the health care reform measure is the most egregious example of overregulation on the part of the federal government. As for taxes, numerous economists have said Americans are actually paying lower taxes this year than they did last year. A rubber stamp for his friends in Washington. This depends on what you consider a rubber stamp. Bennett votes with the Democrats 91.3% of the time. That's less than Colorado's other senator, Mark Udall, but more than the roughly 90% of the time the average Democratic senator supports his or her party. Bennett is legislating unemployment. This is an opinion, but if taken literally, meaning Bennett's writing legislation to intentionally keep people out of work, then it's false. Buck believes that Bennett has taken several votes that have hurt America's businesses and kept unemployment high. Bennett counters that measures like the stimulus have actually saved Save jobs. Spending money we don't have on programs we don't need. This is also an opinion. Buck cites a number of so-called pork projects to fund local airports or local museums. Bennett responds with other votes highlighting efforts to rein in earmark spending. What's the Ken Buck difference? I'll do what's right for Colorado, not the big spenders in Washington. And finally, this is an opinion too. If you want to see the sources and research for this truth test, you can log on to our website, 9news.com. I'm Adam Schrager.